Hello. Um, over the last few days I've been asked by a, a viewer on YouTube about stop motion animation. Well, to be honest, I'm not actually an expert on it. In fact, I had to Google it just to double check what it was. But effectively, it's taking a bunch of stills and then putting them one after another to make fluid motion. Again, as I said, I'm not an expert on it. But I said to them that I'll have a go, see what I can do, and then post what my findings. They were more, they were quite interested in finding out which free programs were easy. It was easy to do with, and especially ones that offer AVI export. So the three programs I'm going to look at are Windows Movie Maker, Wax, and Jasharka. So I'm going to go into Windows Movie Maker first. Probably the easiest one to do it in. What I've got is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, pictures already here. As you can see, they're all, they because of modern day cameras numerically order everything, as long as you haven't taken a picture in between, random picture in between, you should be perfectly fine. So what you're going to do first thing is go to Tools, Options, and make sure the picture duration is set to 0.125. I know in the old Windows Movie Maker you could actually set it a bit lower, but for some reason in this one, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got that much on, that's fine. Select your first picture, select your last picture and then just drag them to your storyboard and then just click play and there you go, you've got stop motion then if you want to ex <coughs> then you can actually speed this up by selecting your last selecting your first picture going to effects sorry, so unselected them again and then finding, going down, and there's actually a speed up double you click that, right click it, add to storyboard, and there we go. It's super fast. <laughs> but that's basically the gist of it. Now I think the YouTube viewer is also interested in how to do that from, I'm guessing, a video camera so rather than taking individual shots taking the video camera of you doing this so if we look at this video here it's pretty much exactly the same thing where I'm I place it get out of the shot change it get out of the shot rather than keep on taking individual snaps just do it like that it probably works out slightly quicker and it's easier because you don't have as much camera shake so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop out that so if we click and move it into storyboard. Here, if you click on the storyboard, click on timeline, it's a lot easier to do it with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the way through and when we get to our shot here, click on pause, split, it will go forward one frame and split again. Then we'll play split Forward one frame, split. As you can see, with this short, it's this small amount of footage. It's not too bad. You can get through it fairly quickly. But I'm guessing if you've got a lot of footage, you're gonna it's gonna take a lot, a lot of time and a lot of dedication. Now is the final one. So that now all I do is go in and the really big chunks just delete them. And what you're left with is just those singular flames, just like we had here. And then we'd obviously overlay our video track or whatever you wanted on top. So, fairly easy way to do it.
And it's obviously, as I said, it's just one of those things that because of the way it is, it's just labor intensive and the longer you're gonna have it, it's gonna invariably take you a bit longer to do it. So to export this, click on publish to this computer and say movie is fine. Next. And if we click on more settings, because if you click on bless playback for your thing, you'll always do Windows Movie Ma Video. But I think this this gentleman or this lady, sorry, I don't know, this this viewer wanted to know whether you can do it as an AVI. And yes, you can. You just click on DV AVI panel, and it will actually send it out as an AVI footage. And then you click on publish, and it'll publish it out. So let's get rid of this, and let's go into to shock. Uh, wax so in wax unfortunately that video won't load up but it's basically the same process um, however these the stop motion pictures do and it's actually quite easy in here it's probably not as easy as Windows Movie Maker but it's still easy enough so as you can see they're all down there now now what I've actually done is um, if you can see it is I've reduced the I'm going to reduce the length of each of these to one frame so, doo -doo 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 -doo. then after that, it'll just be a case of staggering it to make our animation. Whether there's a way I could have done that from the start, I don't know. Actually, it might be worth just checking that out, you know. No, doesn't really matter. It doesn't take too long. Uh, using this scroll bar here, you can, if you drag on it, you can actually zoom in on the timeline. So as you can see, it's zero to zero one. That's basically what we want for all of them because that means it's a frame long. So now with each of our pictures one frame long, So in Windows Movie Maker, our frames were about three seconds long, and then with the speed up double, it's about, I mean, three frames long. With the speed up, it was a one and a half frames long. And now all we do is just in order, so the 1.26, is just move them across. And then when we play through it, Hey presto, you have your video. So that's how you do it in Wax, pretty easy again. Nope. Now, inside of Jashaka, there's actually quite a funny thing that happens in Jashaka. When you load up a sequence of images, because they're all labeled, it actually asks you, do you want to load it as a sequence? So you don't even have to do any of that. Just click on animation, let's go into uh, pick our video, stick it in there, click play. And, sorry. I got work to the back. And as you can see, it's playing very slowly, but it is playing. And then you can just save it out. And you can see some of my other videos. So you click on render, you save it out, and uh, you can export it as a an AVI file. The same thing can happen with the movie thing. So if we go into, I'm going to use the editing module for the movie. And it's exactly the same thing that we did before, so this would be the outcome here. Exactly the same as Windows Movie Maker, so I'll, I'll actually create a new track. Uh, da -da 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 is it insert track? I can't remember for the life of me. Yeah, it's insert track. Create a brand new track, stick it on top, and literally it's exactly the same thing. So you click on plus. Oh, sorry. We don't want to be able to see that. Get your track selected. Get to where you see your footage. Click stop. If you press S on the keyboard, that will then split that. Press one frame forward. Press S again. That gives you your one frame that you'll need. Then press play. Go forward. Stop. Press S. One frame forward. Press S again. And hey presto. As you, If you carry on doing that, then ev eventually, exactly like the Windows Movie Maker system, you'll get everything done. I don't know. 
So here's one I made earlier, basically. We're using exactly the same process. At which point you would then turn around, if I can just get rid of these first. Let's remove tracks. Then you'd click on your render button, which is this camcorder button on the side. Click on your format. Now for some reason I find that the DivX format seems to give you slightly better. The raw DV format really has a really really seems to have really really bad compression which it doesn't really make any sense to me but the divx format is quite good just click on ok qualities set variable and then find where you want to put it type it in whatever you want to do click on save and it'll export it out except for in my case it doesn't because just shock has stopped working i think the reason is because i'm using a screen capture software at the same time it can't really handle both so I'll just click on close, close program but you get the gist thank you for watching I uh, hope that was informative if it wasn't uh, you're gonna have to forgive me thank you anyway so bye